Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Digging. I'm gonna have low voice because of, uh, I'm not sure if it's the weather or what. I'm in Southern California, so we've actually had a hurricane go overhead recently. That might have kicked up mold or something like that. Don't have COVID at the very least. Anyway, this is gonna be LA LAN round two. Sorry, LA LAN, I think it was called Starcon. But it's LA LAN three, basically. That's what it comes down to. Which is technically SoCal LAN eight, if we're really, whatever. Anyway, bottom right-hand corner, we have none other than Jayun starting as the red Protoss, bottom left-hand corner. We have Wugsaw starting as the pink Terran. Between these two, gonna have to heavily favor Jayun. In fact, Jayun's the guy who I'm expecting to win the entire thing. One of the... Well, he was one of the top Zerg in the country and has since swapped to being one of the top Protoss in the country. I think in North America, he might... I mean, there's arguments here, like maybe behind TT1... Uh, behind Dragon, behind Boa, maybe. But he's definitely one of those guys who's in the talking when you're talking about, like, top five Protoss. Uh, has gone deep in BSL. Uh, I miss the Zerg play, is all I'm going to say. But I get it. Especially as time is retracted to be able to practice and prepare. <laughs> or just wanted to get new perspective on things. Supply, uh, supply Depot towards the front to get a high ground seal in for Wugsaw to block out Jayun potentially. That does signal maybe some shenanigans with two gate, or maybe he just doesn't want to have to deal with initial pressure from Jayun or wants to seal out information. It looks like we see an assimilator and a gateway being built for Jayun, so it's not going to be any two gate pressure. This is on Polypoid once again, and this almost is going to feel a little bit like Polypoid fighting mania, ironically, uh, because of just the number of initial rounds SCV Scout making its way out. It should make its way to the upper left-hand corner. Refinery coming online. But yeah, so with the potential information seal, Wugsaw will maybe have some opportunities to do something interesting against Jayun. I don't expect Jayun, especially in the early rounds, to do anything other than something aggressive and bulldoggy. Uh, we'll see. It is possible he'll just go for longer macro-style games, but I don't know. It kind of reminds me of what happens against foreigners when they're going up against Koreans is more often than not, uh, they'll just opt for more aggressive early opening bills to kind of shut down potential cheese. Not sure if Jayun is thinking that way. It looks like we've got a single SCV in on gas. First Marine being produced. SCV now going to go for a cross scout just to check the middle of the map. Just in case, range being upgraded and Dragoon no zealot from Jayun and no scout either. And I'm not sure if this is just I forgot to scout or I know I'm going to open up aggressive potentially or something along those lines or if he's just giving his opponent kind of a, a fair shot in this being that he is, I don't know what Wugsaw's uh, MMR is but I guarantee you Jayun's is probably higher. Three Marines now going to go on the lower ramp. Yeah, still no scout. Jayun just going to go ahead and go for a Nexus. Wug is in fact going to scout that. So he knows the Nexus is coming online. Looks like he's going to respond by going ahead and grabbing his low ground expansion himself. Vulture being produced. And now a second gateway behind this. Range about halfway finished. So we got two gate. Wug is going to be pretty solid economically in the early game. First Vulture making its way out. And on top of that... If he goes with a quick mine upgrade, could get some decent map control early as well until Jayun gets that observatory out. Looks like at the moment, yeah, just wanting to field some Dragoons. In the meantime, checking up that third Vulture moving forward, maybe wanting to get a shot into the natural expansion. That Dragoon should be able to get some good damage done, especially with his buddy coming up. Well, I take it back. Vulture able to get in. Is it going to get a kill? Probe's coming off the line, but one one of their brethren dies. Vicious lightning attack able to get the counter. Transfer to the natural expansion. And right now, Jayun still has no scouting information. So sending a Dragoon to the upper right hand of the map. Mines are now being researched for Wug. Wug has his natural expansion up comfortably. And following that up with the siege tank, now transferring troops there overall. Worker counts dead even. So, Wug actually not in that terrible position. Jayun trying to 
poke that corner. Wug does need to get some SCVs off the line to help repair here. Tank is going to be out. Mines are going to finish. Vulture looks like it's going to go ahead and mine up that interior three. But one thing for Wug is he's going to need to pull some SCVs rather rapidly to respond to this. And babysit this siege tank. Because right now there's three Dragoons piling on that bunker. Two more SCVs now coming out. But with this fourth... Well, let's see if this fourth Dragoon comes up. There is potential for a siege tank's knife. Especially with siege tech coming out quite a bit later. So yeah, siege tank taking one hit. Second hit. SCV coming off the line to provide some repair and right now bunker standing but a lot of shield peeled off the dragoons attacking that bunker vulture making its way across has already mined the inside three o'clock mineral only second siege tank going to join the fray a lot of damage on the front but looking safe now jayun seeing those two, uh, two siege tanks is going to back out he's going to join this with two more dragoons observatory coming online and yeah just pinning wug into the front Wug still working on Siege Tech. Siege Tech is about halfway finished. Poking away at that lower Dragoon. A lot of Two of these Dragoons have taken quite a bit of damage. But now as six Dragoons are joining the front, it becomes more challenging to repair everything on the field. Because SCVs have to start exposing themselves a little bit forward to properly repair. So it looks like that Barracks is going to get taken out. It's trying to float and make its way away. But that's going to allow six Dragoons to focus fire that bunker. Siege tech coming up. Jayun going to back off. Nexus looks like the mine was misplaced, so that Nexus, or maybe this is just an off-center Nexus, being planted here. To be a third, look, that vulture, though, sneaking its way back across. Observer pinning on the front. Looks like double pylon drop, but getting some gas hits over the edge. Jayun playing it a little bit sloppily here, but he's still decently up supply is going to have that third base which will give him the economic advantage and wug very much in a defensive posture level one weapons about two-thirds finished has a starport building just tacking on that second factory also getting charon boosters just in case there was some sort of potential error making his way this direction looks like we see a citadel of a dune templar archives and stargate dropping simultaneously for jayun to make movements towards that Arbiter tech. Observer is going to wander its way across. See that second machine shop dropping and that third factory tacking on, which is a big signal that this is going to be more of a defensive, long-term defensive posture here. And not a quick eight-minute, nine-minute attack. In fact, let's see if Jayun goes ahead upon seeing this ops to go ahead and put down a third base. He is making movements with that probe, and I would not be shocked if he just, yeah, upon seeing just the three factories goes ahead and grabs a third, knowing that it's going to be quite some time before Wug is going to have sufficient troops to press into him. So yeah, going to go up two bases over Wug. Wug not really in a position to respond. Science facility and second army dropping, plus one weapons now online. So Wug in a bit of trouble because he also hasn't made movements to go ahead and grab his own third. Which means with this fourth base take, Jayun is going to have just a much stronger economy. Jayun with that third base up. Four gateways. No Arbiter tech as of yet does have that Stargate in place. But potentially just going to out macro. So here I was like, I expect Jayun to just play aggressive and maybe go for like a mid game something. Instead, just playing passively and getting big economic leads. With some good observer information. Some vultures being fielded out of these factories. Siege tanks moving forward to go ahead and play to grab this third base, but this third base is coming online while that fourth is already establishing itself. And really, Jayun's economy has not been touched in the slightest, so as long as he tacks on the additional gateways with sufficient time and their Arbiter, first Arbiter being built, where did he sneak that Arbiter? There it is. Arbiter Trove being one of the natural expansion. Sneaky, sneaky. Maybe to avoid comps. It's, it fooled me. I'll put it that way. Pylons blockading that vulture as it was trying to sneak its way in. The Dragoon trying to hunt it down. To keep disruption because Jayun could optionally go for a fifth. Still has that... I mean, he's... Yeah, going to be solid, solidly economically in a great position. Level 2 weapons, level 1 armor. I think Wug wants to try to play this towards the 100... Or sorry, the uh, 200 supply mark. Where he's got that plus two weapons, or usually 150 supply, where he's got plus two weapons, plus one armor. 
and move out from there. And still playing at factory light at this stage. No movements to tech on a 5th or a 6th as of yet. A couple Dragoons getting caught midfield. Let's see if they get wiped out. Some nice mine placement. Dragging into a Vulture, however. Going to hunt down that last straggler. But you'll see, as supplies indicate in that upper right-hand corner, Jane with a big troop lead. First Arbiter's coming out. I think Stasis may have been researched in between. And the Observer coverage is absolutely fantastic for Jane. He sees the entirety of the troop count. Might even have eyes on that bunker. I don't... I can't do the little... Oh, I can! I can! I can do the little... Uh, I didn't think I had that active right this second with this replay. So I don't think I don't know if he's seen that bunker yet or not. I don't think so. Surprise to me. Dragoons starting to wander to the north. The Arbiter trailing alongside the Vultures. Wanting to go ahead and maybe sneak across. I think they want to check and see whether this is a... If their additional base is going up. Or maybe try to make a dive bomb into an expansion. Try to pick off something. Or just get some mines laid out in the field. Because right now, Wugsaw's vision is pretty much limited to the mine at 6 o'clock and... Very little else. He has no idea where Jayun's headed. A single probe making its way out to the upper left gets picked off. I'm almost wondering if that was a donation probe from Jayun. Jayun currently up 70 supply with that brutal macro. Arbiter leaning forward towards that third. Looks like he wants to go ahead and make an engagement here. There are a lot of mines in the way and he's bleeding. Okay, now the zealot's coming up and able to get right on top of the siege tank. The siege tank's very, very bunched. And so just a stream of Zealots getting right on top of that attack force. And Wug just doesn't have the supply to keep up. So he's going to end up losing this third. And will be lucky if he doesn't end up losing everything all the way to his main as well. Now plummeted. 275 supply. Going to call GG right there. Which I do not blame him. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will move on to game two momentarily.